car behind the scenes The way I kill it, lose her voice when she trying to scream We from the trenches, we moved on to the finer things Now you don't want from h and to a designer fiend He was playing What's going on everybody? How you doing today? Me and Casey Renee. Anyway. Anyway, what? <laughs> yeah, listen. So we've been waiting on this package to get here for what? I don't know, when's your order? You ain't been waiting that long. It's been about a week and a half. It's, that's long with me. It ain't even a week and a half. It definitely is. I ordered it a while ago. I thought you ordered it last week. <laughs> I ordered it a while ago. You know. But anyway. Y'all, we've been waiting. Look what it is. Look what it is. Pretty sure you guys already know what it is. Because y'all clicked on this video. <laughs> right. But look at that. You see that? What does it say? I don't know what it says by heart. But <laughs> I know the symbol. What is it? Uh, I know the symbol. I know the symbol. This is an experiment <laughs> by the Better World Fragrance House. So, if you don't know. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. I was gonna say, dang, you gonna say bless you? Well, if you don't know, Drake released his own little candle line with this World House, this World Fragrance House company. The Better World Fragrance House. Never heard of him, but I don't care. Drake released, you wonder, know, his own I wonder line if that's like a, a, and, uh, a Canadian breed. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Anyway. <laughs> but he released it, and everybody be going crazy over him. So. I went ahead and purchased this joint. All of them. Literally, I watched the video and I was like, oh my God, did you see it? He's like, yeah, I know. I, I'm going to get them. And I was like, okay, well, I only want one scent because I only want one scent. And he's like, I'm going to get them all. Not to sound like I didn't care what she was thinking, <laughs> but I had already decided I was going to buy all of them. So it didn't matter to me what she wanted because I'm buying all of them. Any, I want all of them. I want to smell every single last one. And then, you know, a lot of people tell me, why you want a candle that smells like Drake? First of all... <laughs> Wait, they don't, they may not know that. One of the candles, so how many candles is it in total? It's five candles and one of them supposed costs $80. Because it's supposed to smell, to smell like, like Drake. Drake. And These candles are not for the cheap. Yeah, I think <laughs> each candle was like $50. Besides that was, the one. That one that smelled like him was 80 So I think I paid around like $300 for all of it. But... In my mind, don't nobody got to smell. <laughs> so if something smell like him, it got to be his cologne. So I'm getting, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting a cologne smell because it ain't like. I feel like it's gonna smell really baccaratish, like real, like a nigga with money. <laughs> because y'all know when people be like, "Ooh, baccarat smell like money," like smell like money. That's what I feel like it's gonna smell. Like. As long as it smell good, because if it don't, I'm say you a smelly ass. Well, shut up. We but gonna open this up. Mainly for real, for real. Um, don't mind me, y'all. I don't the really care. I don't really care about it because as long as it wasn't like no Erica Badu, you know her stuff supposed to smell like her pum pum. It ain't like he said it's supposed to smell like his sack. So I don't care. It's supposed to smell like some cologne what? at this point. You know everybody. I know, I know, baby. You ain't gotta go into it. Badu, Badu coochie, and everybody didn't <laughs> taste it. You yeah, have people out here eating the incense. Shut up. Mm, incense tastes good. Okay, come on. Let's... What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. Let's open up this. You, you got things to do. Today, today is our um, housewarming. So we wanted to do this video first because I'm clearly going to want to burn one of these candles when people come. Y'all gonna be before I had already started. <laughs> Y'all, I, I ordered a package and she's on some, can I open it? Cause I already knew what it was. You know, it's my candle, my, my motherfucking Dang, shit. Dang, is this your candle? That's crazy, y'all. Not to be selfish, but I did buy them because I wanted to spell. I want it to smell good in my house. Okay, our house. She be getting mad at me because I be saying her room is our room. It's a little adjustment, y'all. I ain't used to sharing rooms with nobody. As y'all can see, it got the little emblem on the top. Whatever emblem that y'all want to call that. The little balls and whatnot. And then... They fit it with obviously because it's glass. Yeah, 
Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, make some go ahead, put this on the ground. About time. <laughs> Well, y'all saw that. Y'all know how it's box and package. Okay. So, so show them the packaging. This is the first one. And they all come in, um, come wrapped up anyway. So hold on, that's carbon musk. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if y'all can see that. Hey, don't do that one first, cause that one the one that's supposed to smell again. Oh lord. Do that one last. Do um. What are you doing? I'm trying to get a better view. Okay. So y'all. This is one Wait, we have right here. The Muskoka. 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 Okay. So this is a Muskoka. Y'all see, it is nicely wrapped. Real nice packaging. Go ahead, give them the background. Okay, so on the website, it says that the Muskoka <laughs> is supposed to be the magical mist of guaiac wood, cloves, and precious sandalwood perfectly captures the smoldering warmth of burning woods and golden embers. This is a warm and woody fragrance that emulates the feeling of cozy, comfort, and campfire. The scent profile is oriental woody. So it's giving me very much manly vibes, which I heard that most of all of these are like men scents, but I really don't have a problem with that. We actually have a candle here from uh, Bath and Body Works that smell like a man. I but love it. We, I don't know. I like those type of smells too. So I forgot to tell y'all, with all of his candles, they're supposed to be customizable. So it's it's like a to and a from, and they yeah. give you a marker uh, to write on the candle with. So if you want to gift it, gift it to somebody, which I ain't giving it to nobody. But if you wanted to, you could do that and say, you know, whatever little sweet message you want to say to your boo thing. But this is. They know, so you gotta get that close because I can maximize. This is oh okay. Well, this is how it looks once you take the box off. This is a marker, and then the marker is supposed to be like a metallic marker. Uh, the marker is supposed to be like a like a metallic marker. It's gonna, it looks just like that because literally they probably wrote that on there. Shoot. Nah, it's, wait, probably. Is this the same mark? Oh yeah, Masuda <laughs> for whatever. I wouldn't yeah. write on that. I'm no. like, don't. The marker yeah. don't look like it, it write well. It does because I watched somebody it write just like that. But anyway. Mm. Yeah, it reminds me of the, of the, of the um, Bath and Body Wash candle we got. This is right. that's exactly right. what, it, what it remind me of. I um, mean, very much what it said, Woody. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's like a fragrance. It just it smells like a man's fragrance to me. On to the next one. All right. The next one we have is Good Thoughts. Good Thoughts. Good Thoughts. Good thoughts. Okay. Okay. So, Please have good thoughts. So good thoughts is supposed to be the Brazilian oranges, Canadian fir trees, Bulgarian roses, and Australian sandalwood create a bouquet of rich florals surrounded by bright, vibrant freshness for a captivating positive scent. And the scent profile is floral. Now let's see if I like this one because I'm not usually into floral scents. I like florental scents, which is floral and oriental scents mixed. But just plain floral, I'm interested to smell. This packaging is elite though. This is a nice candy. She ain't gonna like this. It smells like not, straight flowers. She's not gonna like this. It smells like- It smells like oranges? If it smells like an orange, then maybe it might smell <laughs> It smells like some your auntie or brown. Auntie or grandma? Auntie. Definitely auntie. It ain't granny yet. It ain't that old. It is green. I give it. It's giving very much grandma. My auntie's old. <laughs> <laughs> it's giving very much your Ooh, grandma house. If y'all watch this video, not all y'all is old. I'm not referring to my. They <laughs> <laughs> better get beat down as soon as they get home. Yeah, it's giving very much oh, funeral yeah. home. Whoa, very whoa, much. whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Floral scents, it just automatically tell me it gives me old vibes, death. I'm sorry, but it do because you know funeral homes be full of flowers with funerals. So that's what it smells like. To me. Well, I don't candle, think flowers smell good. So it was called Good Thoughts. So I'm not gonna relate death to it at all. I like it. 
Maybe it's gonna like smell it. different and when you burn it. Yeah, I like But you're gonna have to burn this uh, upstairs when you up there by yourself. Because I don't want to smell this. I'm gonna burn it while she's gone. <laughs> when, she, when she on her little girl's trip or whatever, I'm burning it. How's it gonna come back smelling like a thing? Like <laughs> Who died? What's next? Can we get to my the one I wanna smell? We pulling out whatever comes next. Oh. Which happened to be the one you want to smell. Y'all, don't have kids. So I'm gonna tell you. You say you don't need a man, but you say you don't need a man. What's the word? <laughs> so, this is the camera. Sweeter the candle. Teams. Sweeter things. So, this one says a nostalgic and addictive fragrance with sub. Subtle, subtle ties of comfort and goodness, all y'all. The Italian citrus supported by precious woods from Haiti and North America, combined with floral rose, rose and iris from Europe, exemplifies the connectivity of storytelling through scent. Scent profile is oriental gourmand. So, so sorry. Go ahead. When I was like looking this one up, basically they said that this was like the only one that kind of like gave off girl. Fragrances, like how all the other ones I say smell like a man. These definitely a rich nigga candy. <laughs> Let me know if you think I'ma like it. What does it smell like? It smell like uh, it smell like a Jamaican oil I had before. It was that. It's not bad. No. Like a black castor oil. No, 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 no. Like the oils I would buy from the Jamaicans is what. Uh. It smells good. Why are you putting it up? I'm putting, I'm sliding it over to you, bro. You no, know, I take it out. So all it the, does give, it is a little sweeter though than all the rest of them. All the candles are ten and a half ounces, so they're a pretty decent yeah, size. Pretty. They're only one wick, which I don't really have a problem with. I would like the three wick, but you know. But I heard that these are like super fragrant, so even with the one wick, like. It felt, they said the girl that I watched, she got a whole house pretty big. And she said the whole house smelled like it after a little bit, like less than an hour. I could mess with this when I was trying to focus this one. It smelled like something I'm trying to put my nose on. <laughs> y'all, y'all don't think I'm crazy, but I. She is crazy. <laughs> I think. Y'all know them, uh, what's the things called? The the inside of the box even smell good. <laughs> Y'all right. know that pot potpourri, potpourri. That's what it smell like to me, potpourri. All these candles say, bougie pop your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Bougie pop your mom. What's that next? The next one is the Williamsburg Sleepover. Ha! It's some in this house. It's some <laughs> Shut up. House. I feel like I like this one too. I like all of them so far. I'm, I'm burning all of them. They all getting burnt. Okay, so this one, the Williamsburg Sleepover is this genderless and luminous mini It's a unisex candle, which I like unisex. Uh, perfumes and cologne. I feel like I'm gonna burn this one first. But this is the genderless and luminous fragrance that captures the essence of an urban garden under shaded lights. The rare roses, succulent blonde woods, and warm luminous ambers combine for a story of freedom and sensuality. The patchouli groves of Indonesia and the Lang Lang fields of Madagascar emanate confidence and intimacy for seduction in a candle. The scent profile is floral woody musk. Oh my god. I know I'm gonna like that because I like. Oh my god. I'm gonna order Amber. five of these. Let's see. Let this candle smells like so it. good. I will, I'm, I'm, I'm buying more of that specific candle. That candle smells Oh yeah, this so is good. the best one. That candle smells This is the best so one. Good. I knew it. Yeah, this is the best one for sure. Drake can smell better than that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this was like if you're not into all like, cause I told you I don't like super florals, like so that one was like super, no but floral, and it was super. And strong. then I like woody scents too, but 
just straight woody scents to me smell like a man, but they combine woody and the floral together. This is like it's perfect though. It's not super strong. Mm -hmm. it's, it's subtle, yeah, but which is what it it's, is. It's fire. It smells good, y'all. We see. we burning this one today. First of all. First of all, what? First of all, what? I see why people have sex with this can. I would. They had sex when they made it. For sure, for sure. Shut up, man. Somebody got their back broke through that can. Yeah, so by the way, that's the Williamsburg sleepover. Down with. Down with. When your man's is coming to town. When your shorty coming. <laughs> any shorty you feel. Listen, fellas, y'all, I don't know if y'all buying flights this year, but if you is, because they, they pretty cheap. <laughs> if you is, don't hit burn that. Yeah, that one smells great, y'all. That one smells so good. You're going to be some cakes. We on the last one? So this is the $80 can <laughs> that everybody going wild about. It is called Carby Musk. I don't know if that's his son's middle name or if that's one of his uncles or something. I don't, think I don't know who Carby is. or It, it might be some... Okay. Ooh, your hands is cold as a joker. It might be some rich cologne that rich people buy, you know. I don't think so. They just came up with these that. names. Um, it says that this is the first scent that the team developed Obviously. and the one that ultimately birthed Better World Fragrance House. Constructed unlike any other fragrance, Carby Musk is developed with trail air technology, which means it's made to linger in the air longer. The layering of sweet velvet powdery musk along with the musk of soft floral, amber, and marine con connotations make it incredibly unique and a must-have. So the scent profile of this one is musk. And it's the one that's supposed to smell like Drake Easy. <laughs> My wig a little messed up, but I ain't gonna see. Is it? Yeah, there we go. Stronger, but you know the last one was subtle. To me, this would just smell a tad bit stronger. Yeah, but I wouldn't even put them. I wouldn't put them in the in the same playing field though, because both of them give you two totally no, different. Yeah, for sure. This gives you like, y'all know, y'all got that one uncle who always dressed nice and he always coming to the barbecues with a different with a different female. Like That's what I'm getting. It ain't super strong, but he smell like a player. <laughs> Drake, wherever you get your cook, because I know it's not your body smell. I know it's not. It's no way possible. If it is, God get, made you different. I don't <laughs> even know what to say. But anyway, whatever the cologne is, I need this. I need this. No, for real, that smells so Cause good. Because I step, I step out with it. I'm getting all the drinks free. <laughs> all the drinks is free. This really smells good though. For eighty, I wouldn't buy it for eighty dollars. But not gonna lie to you, out of all the candles, we gonna burn all of them. But these would be the only two that I would be purchasing. So the Carby Musk and the Williamsburg Sleepover, these would definitely be two candles that I could see myself buying again in the future. They smell great. They, they smell do. great. They smell really good. I don't know. I, I don't really know about all the technology, so it lingers <laughs> in the air more. So we'll give y'all yeah, another see. review on that. You know, we'll probably give y'all a review for each candle that we burn throughout the house. But about the, uh, it's overheated. Okay. But for <laughs> right now, um, I'm gonna go with this in the the sleep up. William's first sleep up. That's our favorite. Oh, wow. Oh, y'all. But yeah, y'all gonna see him on the thumbnail because the, the camera literally about to die. Just do it. I'm just, just lining them up. I'm just lining them up. What anyway, y'all, so thank you for watching this video. Hopefully, we helped you guys choose which candles y'all might want to buy because they are pretty expensive. You may not want to purchase all of them, so you would want to purchase the one you think you would like the most. So hopefully, we were able to help. And we will see you guys in our next video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you know time whenever we upload. And we will see you guys in the next video.
video. To show y'all. Bye. Peace. Bye to you too. <laughs>